Lulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell gave his State of the City address tonight. Rail, affordable housing and dealing with the homeless are among the priorities he continues to tackle. But also, cracking down on illegal vacation rentals big time. The related issue to affordability is the vacation rentals. Very controversial issue. We need to take back our neighborhoods. We need to address affordability because these units are coming out of rental and becoming unaffordable. Mayor Caldwell says he plans to introduce a bill that would require registration numbers on all ads for short-term rentals, allow unhosted vacation rentals only in non-residential areas, and bed and breakfasts would be allowed in all residential areas, business districts, and all of Waikiki. Plus, property taxes would skyrocket for bed and breakfasts and unhosted vacation rentals. And fines for those caught breaking the rules would also go up from 25 grand per day to as high as 100 grand per day. We need to level the playing field for all segments of the visitor industry. The mayor also talked about Honolulu's rail project and how he wants Hart to focus on making sure the first segment opens in 2020 as scheduled, that the cost doesn't go up anymore, and he wants to make sure it goes all the way to Ala Moana Center. And preserve the opportunities, the best possible opportunities, to get up to UH Manoa. The mayor also plans to introduce a vagrancy law to hopefully stop the homeless from sleeping on sidewalks and public walkways throughout Oahu. Other priorities include fixing the sewers and roads and improving the bus system and parks. And after the mayor's speech, we asked some of the city council members for their thoughts on the mayor's plans. So before we add any more vacation rentals uh, to Oahu, the city needs to build a stronger enforcement unit. Fines are just not enough. We need to have a better enforcement team, and right now, that's where I think we need to focus on before we add any more vacation rentals. You know, time and time again, how he mentioned, you know, the necessity of having to work with the council on many of these initiatives, which to me was very wise, given that a lot of the initiatives have already been discussed within the body itself. Of course, the mayor will have to work with the council to achieve all of his goals and will continue to follow up and let you know what happens.